Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to go around and get the rest of these blueprints, mainly the ones for the for the new traps. I just realized that I could probably make this a lot better. Have it go around on the outside. In such a large tower, I should be able to fit it in. But maybe I should just seal this off. I don't think it's a good idea I have this because I found a red cannibal inside the base last time. So I was originally planning to take the golf cart or Night V. However, I realized that my zip lines are probably more efficient. Not more efficient, but I could probably bring back a golf cart with me. Here's my new zip line thing. Do I need to? Nah. Okay, I'll probably need to clear this tree because I've redone the thing. Maybe these three trees. I don't like the idea of hitting branches and leaves on the way in. I feel like it's unrealistic. And I gotta go quick by the looks of it because it's autumn or fall. Oh man, I've got to be attentive because I almost fell off the edge then. I think the issue is that it's quite random whether you'll fall off or not. I've got a new mod to show you. It's made by Tony Macaroni. I probably should have asked his permission before showcasing things that he's made. Probably should have made this one shorter too. This one's a complete mess. <laughs> you had to block off the entranceway. There's a lot of resources here. One, two ropes, cloth, cash, booze. Both of these tents have something. There's three ropes here. Medication, a tarp. Should do this every time just for funsies. <laughs> Uh, careful building of those things, eh? Hey, you accidentally hit them, you're not gonna have such a fun time. So this one's changed, but this one doesn't have too much in it. If you're wondering where it is, it's um right next to your start location of the snow. So it's a piece of cloth, piece of booze, piece of booze. What am I saying? I don't understand this one. Oh, here's the new mod I wanted to show you. Okay, so um this one is called Luminescence. I think is the right way to pronounce it. Um, can't press F10. I've got to go through here and. Yeah, oh no, it's Illuminate. So this one's by Tony Macaroni. He hasn't made it public. I think he's working on it. You can change the wall light torch intensity and stuff like that. I don't feel the need to change it that much. I think a lot of this is pretty good. I've left the lighter intensity at standard. I'm tempted to turn it up so you can see better in caves when I'm thing. And you can change the lighter color. So before it was on purple, I believe. Oh, he's got revert right next to it. That's awesome. That's what I wanted. A lot of these mods, so now it's gone back to purple. This is the color they are in real life if you've got one. You can get them on Amazon for dirt cheap if you want to buy one of these lighters. If you've got kids, I don't recommend it because they don't have any child safety stuff on them. Keep that in mind. So this one doesn't have the revert button next to them all. I think it should. I ask enough of Tony Macaroni. Sometimes I feel like I'm breaking his balls. Uh, but yeah, if you go like that and we go back, this might be good for a lot of people. People just don't want to deal with the caves stuff. Be cool if you could do that with a button like I'm pressing F10 to open up this. I reckon that'll be good. But revert it back to one, revert on one. I just don't want to cheat, that's the main thing. But I feel like the white is actually less effective than the purple. Uh, the white's just more pleasant and it will brighten up better with my video editing. So you get a tarp in here, a story item, and another tarp, and a can of food. There's probably a body there, I can see a helmet. I feel like they're gonna work on this one more and they've just sealed it off for now, because it looks quite square. Yeah, it's very square, look. Square. Yeah, so this is gonna be updated. Neato. Burrito. I think if you open up the canned food, it doesn't go off. So you can carry more. So you just open it and just leave it be. It's a shame the can opener gets put away. Yeah, I just like the white color a bit better. I think it's gonna work better for video editing. To show you what I'm actually doing in caves and that. Okay, we've done that cave. As you can see, there was a there was two types. Oh, enemies are here. I'm not interested. I feel like killing enemies doesn't feel very incentivizing. Well, these were nightmare fuel to build these ones up here. Okay, I'm cold now. Oh, fell down. Okay, we're going to go over to the new PL whites over there. You can barely see it because it's in the snow, obviously. I might, um, hmm. Okay, if there, I'll fall off the edge. I'm probably going to have to extend this out again. Let's put that there for now. I might come back and look at this because it's not the point of this episode. I want to try and keep episodes on task. I get distracted very easily. I wonder why they put this here. This is interesting. Does it kind of reach all the way? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So you got three ropes out on the ice lake here. One, two, three. That's good. Be interesting to see if they ever make this area become not so frozen. So what's around here? A lot of props. These things I kept seeing. You can't do anything with them though. A tarp that I can't carry. Box. Baker's flour. Warby, mate. What if we're ever going to get baking in this game? That'd be cool. And there's a story item here. I don't know what that is. And what else we got? 
can of food, booze. What is that? That is certainly strange, whatever that is. Okay, there's nothing else here. Go back up. I don't think it could reach all the way over there. Nah, no way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a platform, I think, that just sits out again. Got to clear all those stumps. Look ugly. Got that place that I found over here. It's so hidden, eh? So many trees, you just won't see a lot of the stuff. Oh, it's ammo and an MRE. <gasps> Two MREs, wow, this place is actually worth hitting up. And it's a one rope, wow. This game's strange in that you can make so many things but can't scrap some of the world items. Like you look at that stuff and go, oh yeah, that looks all pretty useful. I'm gonna move this somewhere that I won't lose it. Oh, that was to stop me falling off, I think. Oh, I gotta go here, uh, drop off in the water. This would be a nice brisk swim. Should be more consequences for that, and that's just me. So we're going here, and story item. The piece is in here. This is the wrong cave. The others are resting below. Resting, eh? Ooh. Mm. Really liking this white lighter. That's much better. Oh, 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 what am I doing? I didn't see that there. Too many tarps. Okay, this lighter doesn't work that great. That should be a lot brighter. So that is the uh, clock schematic. I'm opening up my inventory for a reason. What was it? I think it was making bone armor. I can only make one. I think I made a mistake in my last update video for all these blueprints and stuff. I should have probably put something of the map on there, like a, a making custom maps like that or oh, print screen takes a while. I think it'd be better for me to show a map website. I'll put a link in the last one. If you go hide all and you just click the blueprints, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, I'm going the wrong way now, I think. So I'm going to backtrack. So these ones, you've got to put the zip line behind, like up here rather than up here because you can fall off. That's actually a fair distance to walk. Screw it. Make myself regret not getting a IV or a golf cart. I still think it's very questionable to put this giant mountain in the middle of the map. This creates a giant obstacle for players to walk around. This is a theory I have as to what they're going to do to fill out the map. It's not so much actually them filling out the map. They're probably going to add a lot of random encounters I don't know the power of AI at the moment, whether they can actually just easily do that. Oh, this is going to be risky. Oh, I could just use a, a sled, a thing I, like, never really use. Please don't get me killed. Oh, God, it goes so fast. Oh, cool, I stopped. I was going too far south for my liking. Okay, here we go, I found it. it. Took a while to get here. Maybe I should have grabbed that glider and taken it to the top, but there's a glider here which I might use to get out of here once I'm finished. Of course it's a tarp. Ooh, batteries. Tell you what, I won't be wasting batteries again. I never realized how rare they actually are. Ah, zipline rope. No. Well, let's go down and get the spear thrower. Schematic. Well, you can't even open up a container with it. There's so many ropes here. And I can't do anything with them. How disappointing. I could eat this stuff. Of course I didn't fill up my water flask. I never do it. <laughs> I always forget. Oh, why am I like this? Okay, here's the schematic here. This one's cool. I can't wait to test this one out a little bit more. Okay, so there's booze here. I'm going to turn all my normal arrows into... Oh, well, I wish it was easier to click on them. To, uh, what's it called? Fire arrows. A little broken glass to leave behind. I never prepare for these trips well enough. Like, I should be um, dropping off my ropes and stuff like that. If I break these open, most likely they've got ropes in it. I just don't see the point in wasting it. Blech. There's a change I'd like to see, is to leave the can opener on the mat after you've finished opening up a can of food. Beggars can't be choosers. Open those cans of food and then forget to pick up the cans. Sounds about right. This would be a cool little place to have a base, I think. I'm going to get going because I want to fly and reach my next POI before sundown. Oh god. They're all here. Hmm. What are you going to do about it? I think I've got to go to this way. There's my old base location over there. So on the end of that peninsula, but that isn't really where I'm going. I do hope to build a zip line system up to there, because I want to work on that base. Because I've got a zip line system that runs to the beach down there, so I could just hook it up that way. So from here, this is the side of the island where all the beach huts are. I've got to fly low enough so hopefully they render in. There's that yacht I was talking about in my update video. Yeah, that's filled with gore and there's no items in it as of yet. I'm assuming in the next patch it will be. I do kind of like that they just added it in. They didn't worry about removing it even though it wasn't ready. This is a tricky part is finding these fishing huts because I don't know how buried they're going to be in the forest and the trees. 
I don't think they're on these islands here. There's nothing on these islands yet. Hang on. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to these islands. Okay, so that's a residential bunker. Oh, my zipline system goes to there. <laughs> I like how they even called this the other side of the map in their, um, in their update. It's like the other side of the map. This is a side that's like no one's spending their time on. It's too far away from everything. Okay, the first lot of huts is right on this peninsula, I believe. If you can see me alt tabbing into the map, then I might just leave that in there. Oh, it's up in here somewhere. I'm going to leave this down here. It's just doing a quick scan for turtles. Yeah, here we go. I think there's two here. Okay, here's a bunch of dates. Always found it strange to put the month before the day, but anyway. Lots of canned food. Solophyte. Mate, it was a bad idea. There's a golf cart here. That's going to be handy. Right, there's a spotlight. Now, they've significantly improved this, apparently. I haven't had a look yet. I trashed it quite bad in the update video. Apparently, it's a lot better now. I think the Gorchos are in here somewhere. Oh, these bloody cans of food. Why am I opening these for? I can't use most of the items out of it. I don't know why I do this, some of the things I do, eh? Is that Virginia? It is. Oh, there's graves here too. So where's the gore chair? Can I put a tarp in here? I can. I might sleep in here. What am I doing? I was about to get... Oh, I've got this. Okay. I was going to boil water, but I've got meat in there. Came prepared, sort of. I thought the gore chair was supposed to be in here. I guess it's not. It's not like I'm going to build it anyway, but I still kind of want to collect it. Unless that bug's happening again where I can't actually get it. That'd be interesting. Wake up, taking damage. Yeah! yeah. Drink it all and fill it back up again. I might put a thing here. I don't know which one to use. Yellow flag? Yeah, why not? Oh no, that's what's used for the... They need more icons. I like they have battery ones. I was going to put question mark because I don't know what it means. But I'm going to take this with me. Up in Virginia? Oh, that's right, you can't. Oh, you still can't use a GPS in here. Something's not right. Why isn't this blueprint here? I'll just check up with it later. It's saying on the map it's where it is, but maps can be wrong. Uh, I'm just going to drive off the cliff and drive this way. Maybe I'll come across a turtle. Maybe not. Oh, it was excellent they made it so you could carry uh, three turtle shells. I'd have to drive pretty slowly to be able to see them, wouldn't I? That's a big CO2 tank. Is it CO2? I'm guessing so. I got one of these in my home for a soda stream. It's about that size. It's huge. If it ever blew up, it'd probably kill me. But hopefully it won't do that. If you use those small bottles that soda stream sell, it's not very viable. If you get a huge tank, it is very much viable. Okay, so here is a Channel Village. It's two. It's that one that's got two and one. Oh, it's not two and one. It's just very close to each other. Oh, and there's another one just here. God, I wish I could hold on to the GPS. Should just have like a GPS holder or a phone holder and you sit it on there. That'll be cool. Okay, so I'm near where my, um, what's it called is. My zip lines here. My zip lines are right there. Please don't get bogged. Ah, bugger. This thing would weigh so much because of the battery. Oh no, they use normal batteries. They don't use like a big Tesla battery. I think I've got to drive a lot further up. I'll be honest, I'm just using a map as a guide because I'll get too frustrated getting lost all the time, I think. There's another golf cart. So the end boss spawns around here. And the Deadfall truck does a thousand damage and I think two or three will kill it. So before the fight, if you went around and planted them all. <laughs> oh, that'll be bad. You'd kill it a couple of seconds. I'll come out and see if there's anything worth grabbing course ropes. <laughs> Sharkus Malarcus. Should put a little shelf here instead. You can put items on. Or a container so it doesn't glitch out. Oh, I don't want to drive that in the water. I don't think I'd ever get it out. So there's a luxury bunker. But I can't finish the game yet because I don't have the golden armor. I wonder how much damage this golf cart actually does to these guys. <laughs> Kills them instantly by the looks of it. Well, boats that probably have ropes. It's all rocky. Why do they do this for? Pain in the butt to drive across this. Because they can't have sand going all the way around, can they? Is that a female one? Yeah, was a female one. <laughs> ah, here it is. This one's easy to see. You can see it's from the cove. Cove, is this what it's called? Is there anything in them? No, these ones have been here a while. You know, it's strange that they've got horse carts in this game, but no horses. I wonder if that's an Easter egg of things to come. Okay, cool. And one. I haven't slept in three months. There is something in the caves. There's three cabins here. More flower, crossbow bolts. I didn't even realize I needed them. I remember that. I'll put an explanation mark on this one. With a question mark one. Wow. I really needed crossbow bolts. Skulls, solophyte. I've really been in all three. 
There's graves around here somewhere. All right, time to go downstairs in this one, eh? Instant dark. Story items. Yeah, it feels like this light is a lot darker with the color. I might zoop it up to two instead of one, roughly. That's a little bit better. Only so you guys can see, there's no enemies down here, so it's like no threats. I don't think it's cheating. There's always someone that is going to disagree, probably. Climb down. That animation to grab the rope and hop down is a lot faster than it was in the forest. Oh, there's that jump scare. Didn't give me the first time, hasn't got me the second time. Feels like both options are terrible. I'm zooming it up to like five. Yeah, there you go. Problem solved. Still can't see very well with it. Maybe the color really does have an effect. Barale. That cross is covered in solophyte. Oh, there's a rope right there. While I go get these items, it makes some water. I switch back to the lighter, so it switches back to the torch. That's strange. Yeah, these are all covered in solophyte, which is strange. I wonder what it means. There's the other piece. I like he aims the lighter towards it so you can see what it actually is. I think that's a cool effect. And behind here is the grinder one. Oh, the light is messed up. This is the one that requires a night V. I want to use wire. Oh, there's a lot of things you can make with it. Bombs, GPS locators, shock arrows. I have to speed up this recording because it's starting to get warmer and warmer. Eh? <laughs> it's the morning as it gets towards lunchtime. I don't have air conditioning at the moment. It broke. Yeah, this uh, light is bugging out a bit. Keeps defaulting, I think. I'm gonna go piss while I wake. Don't wanna press escape because I'll set my room on fire if it gets that hot. There we go. I'm gonna get out of here. What is this little passageway? Oh, it's if you fall down, okay. Which I did. Otherwise you can grab on the right. Oh, it's like it's meant to make you fall down. I get it. Place has a fallout vibe to it, eh? All right, time to head out. Interesting. The gore couch one is supposed to be here as well. I've already got them. No, I don't. This happened in the last thing where I was, um, where I had to verify the game's files. Actually, almost reinstall the entire game to get these two blueprints to spawn. Enemies are here, so I want to wait around. Okay, I can't keep following the beach. So I've got to kind of backtrack a little bit. Get to the other ones. And I go up this way. What's all this? Why are all these barrels here? There's enemies here. And then see this and that there. Oh, twins emerging. Two twins. Don't want to crash here. What's all this in? Another village. Uh-oh. The unbreakable stumps. Oh, this thing can climb mountains. Oh. It says there's a cave here. Is this the exit from residential bunker? I don't think so. What, what cave is this? Guess we'll have to go in and find out. There's a spin trap one. Solophyte. Yeah, I don't know what this cave is. It doesn't ring a bell. Why isn't it ringing a bell? What is this? It's marked on the map. Okay, it just pops down here. Whoa! I fell and grabbed it at the same time. Yeah, a lot of bugs out. What is this cave? Is this something they started on and didn't finish? So they just left it in? I guess so. It's nothing here. Guess I'll have to come back here in the next couple of updates or something. That's so interesting that I can't get the gore couch or the gore chair. This happens four too. I'd never use them because it's just not my type of thing, but um, yeah, for completionist's sake, I kind of do want to get them. Yep, there we go. Okay, from here, I've got to go south and west. Oh, it's raining again. I remember these huts, these random huts. Oh dear lord, it's getting steep. Okay, this is next to another cave, is it? Where is this? Ah, oh, this is for the, what's it called? The item plating one. I've already got that. So I think I've got them all except for the... Yes, I've got those ones. I just need the multi-trap or the uber-trap. Yeah. So I've got them all. I should have just checked instead of doing what I was just doing then. That's the case if I want to drive this back, I'll just take my zipline system back. The multi-trap is in cave D, which is the big cave. Ooh, skids bar. Oh, I ran him over and killed him. Whoa. That was noisy. Oh, it's that village where the twins popped out of. I wonder if it would have been quicker to just drive through the island taking the roads or taking the beach like this. Oh, there's a uh, orcas. They're pretty close. Oh, and turtle. They're swimming away. They like to avoid you. There's another turtle. Neat. These are extremely rare for me. Maybe it's just a hard survival thing. Eat some raw meat. 
Lots of turtles in there. I should really do that killer whale video thing. I was going to reveal how I did it. It's a lot of exhausting video editing. That April Fool's thing. Ooh, what's this? Kayaks? There's another pod of orcas. Pod, I believe they call it. Oh, it's a turtle. There's another turtle, but I've got three shells. And raw meat doesn't do much for you, does it? He's reversing. Yeah. Maybe it's too shy, it won't lay eggs in front of me. I don't want to kill it, in case it does affect their spawns. Okay, it's too dark to drive. The battery will drain too, because I won't have any solar, any power. Whoa, 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 what was that? That was flying in the air, legitimately. Oh, that's right, i got stats i got to fill. I have no idea where I am. Have I gone the wrong way? Oh no, I haven't gone the wrong way, it's just the same as usual. This map is just ridiculously big. Oh yeah, there's my island base that I made. Those boats aren't really worth raiding, eh? Uh, am I going to be able to drive over this? Um, oh, just I think. Yep. Yeah, from memory, it's just barely anything in those, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to go up that way. I usually do. I'm going to go around this way. Follow my zip lines. In case I ran out of power, I've got a way to get back. Oh, this is awkward as hell to push. There we go. I got it out. Parts like that, you're probably better off building a little bridge of blanks. Just gently driving over it, like here. Uh, that's not too bad. Now this cannibal village I'm about to come up to, I destroyed it. I destroyed all the huts. I want to see what's happened. I did destroy all the huts, but the huts are back. Okay, that's strange. I swear to God I did. I need oysters. Good enough. <laughs> Those rocks aren't too good to drive over though. Curious to see what happens when this thing runs out of battery. I haven't driven it so it's run out of battery before. I'm guessing it just stops. Oh, I'd be curious if you can switch over the battery. Just on the entrance of that cave, there's a... Uh, Two packets of 9mm ammo. Is this thing ever going to run out of battery? Once I finish my zipline around the map, I might get a group of people to test which is the fastest way around the map, ziplines or golf cart or the night V. Ziplines is cheating because it takes forever to set up such a system. This has been flashing on one red bar for a while now. I don't even need anything from up and there, and that's a good spot to raid. A lot of tarps. Insane, insane amount of tarps. This thing just ain't gone flat. This is one of those things where the batteries charge better when they're lower battery. Driving around on the beach is a bit boring. Driving through the forest is better. More dangerous. You crash more though. Oh, I do. I think in the next episode, I probably am going to go do Cave D because it's going to snow. It's going to be winter and I don't like dealing with that. Good time to go through caves. I'm just going to try and remember where the best place to get into Cave D is. I'm thinking that these cannot go low on battery. Like they won't just stop because I've been driving for probably five minutes and it hasn't gone flat. It just keeps going. Maybe they haven't implemented it yet. Zip lines feel a lot quicker than this. Almost home. It says it's a road here. It's not very much of a road. Maybe I should build a little bridge there. Feels like it's slowing down now. <laughs> Why? It never went flat. The dead deer. He killed that. It's Calvin that come to tell me that he's done. Nope. He's just coming to say hello, I guess. There we go. Got three golf carts. I should clear this too. The one out the front. Part of the new update, it added in bushes and stuff. Uh, can I store turtle shells? I don't think I can. I might check, just out of curiosity. No, you can't. Best way to store them is either make these or water collectors. I think these at this point. There we go. That's enough for this episode. In the next one, I'm probably going to do Cave 2 because it's going to be autumn or fall. Whatever you want to call it. And then I'm being pretty close to finishing the game if I wanted to do it. But yeah, anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.